In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a box hover fill effect on Elementor Pro. Now, as you can see, whenever I hover this box, it's going to fill from the bottom, but I'll also be showing you how to have it fill from the top in case you want to do that as well. So I hope you guys end up enjoying the video. If you do, make sure to like it for the YouTube algorithm. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Hope you guys enjoy. For those of you wondering where you can get this web agency template, I'll have a link down in the description so you guys can go ahead and download it. Now let's go ahead and begin here. So go ahead and create a section and this section should have three columns. And then in your section, go into advanced and let's give us some spacing here, some padding, do some RAM. We're gonna do four from the top and then four from the bottom. And then inside our first column, this is mainly what we're gonna be working with and then we're just gonna copy over the style to the rest of them. So inside your column, go ahead and add a heading and then add a text editor, and then go ahead and add a button. Let's go ahead and center our button, and on our text description, let's go ahead and center this, and our title, and center this as well. Let's maybe reduce the size a little bit, maybe to 28 here. So that should be fine there. Now, of course, you can style this however you would like. So on our heading, let's go into advance, and now go ahead and type in box-title. Text editor here, go into advance. Give this a class of box dash des for description and the button we'll leave it as is and then let's go into our column here let's go into style and let's give this a background here background type let's go ahead and use i'm going to use this gray color here that you can go ahead and use if you want here is a color here it's just f3 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 and then we're going to go into advance and then give this some padding I'm going to do rem and we're going to set this to one there we go so now that's perfect and then let's go into margin and let's give us a margin because we're going to want some space in between each column here so we're going to do from we're going to do em and we're maybe going to do see if we can do 0 0.5 instead 0 0.5 on each side there we go that's perfect now let's go into custom css and let's go ahead and just paste our css in here there we go as you can see, whenever I hover over this, we have our effect here, and it's looking very nice. Now I'm just gonna duplicate this here, duplicate this one, and then delete this, and then delete this. Now I am gonna go over the CSS here in a bit for those of you guys wondering. Now this is looking really nice. So let's go ahead and just click on our column here, and then let's go into um, our CSS here. So in order to change the color of your hover box here, we need to actually target our background color here. So we can change this to blue or any color that we would like, but I'm gonna leave it as is for right now. Let's say we wanted our box to fill from the top instead of the bottom. So what we could do is instead of bottom here, we can switch this to top. And as you can see now, whenever I hover, it's gonna switch. But we currently have that set to the bottom because I feel like that looks the best. And there we go. And then we're giving this a border radius of 10 pixels. This part's really important because if we were to remove, actually, you know what? I don't think I gave this box a border radius anyway. So as you can see, we have that border radius, right? But if you need to remove that, we can just remove this here. And then now we don't have a border radius. But let's say we want to add a border radius because we also add one to our column here. Let's say I add one here. Now we have a border radius there and now it matches perfectly. So I'm gonna leave it as is. And let me just go over this CSS here. Now I know that there is a little bug here. Don't worry about this. This is just a bug within Elementor. It's gonna work perfectly. It's just when you hover over this little um, icon here. So then the next one here is basically giving it our hover effect. So pretty much by default, we have it set to the height of zero. And then over here, Whenever we hover, we set it to 100%, which is giving it that fill effect there. And then right here, we're just targeting our box title, which is obviously this one, our tradition effect. And on hover, we're switching it to white, but obviously you can change that to whatever color you would like. So we can do red or whatever style you're going with with your hover effect there. And then right here, we have our box description. We're just giving a transition of all. And then here is a hover color of white, but we can switch this like I did earlier with the title to any color that we would like as well. In case you need to switch that, you can use a color code in here that's necessary. And then we have our Elementor button. This is just as a transition speed that we wanted to change to our different color here. And we currently have it set to white, but we can 
change the background color to red, or we can also change the text here to any other um, color that we would want. You can see now it's gonna turn red there. Now that's pretty much it for the CSS code there. Now what I would recommend is once you get done stylizing your first one here, is just duplicate this one, and then we're gonna have the same style all around. And there you go. And it's all completely mobile optimized. You're not gonna have any issues with that. It's all set. Um, we probably just need to give this some spacing here. So we can just go in here, into this one at least, go into advance, and then instead of each side, maybe we can do top and bottom. Oops, we're gonna do maybe one rem, top and bottom, and there you have it. And then I could just go ahead and add the same padding, 0 0.5 and then 0 0.5. That's what we needed to do. There we go. But of course you can just adjust these accordingly to how you would like and you can stylize it however. Now hopefully you guys ended up enjoying the video. If you did, make sure to like it for the YouTube algorithm. And if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Thanks for watching.